Okay, cool. So I'm here with uh, my first mentor, uh, Matt Posius, and we're here to talk about what's motivated him and kept him going in his strive for entrepreneurship and what challenges he's faced because he's still only 20 years old. Uh, I will be 20 in um, about three weeks. 19 years <laughs> old, wow, well, so that's a, <laughs> that's a target for us all. So, um, Matt, in your, in your youth, when did you first realise that you wanted to become an entrepreneur and tell me about your first kind of experiences with starting businesses and generating your own income? Yeah. Uh, and, and first of all, you, you know, I mean, you got this very, very quick setup because, uh, and this is just as an illustration for, you know, you don't need to get anything further. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, we got a few microphones coming in here, but your setup is a little bit like complicated. If you want to have like two microphones, it's unbelievable how complicated of a setup you need to have. Crazy. I thought it was just as simple as, you, know, you just plug in two microphones and that's it. It's not that simple. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, we are doing it. And uh, for entrepreneurs, if you want to have a business, you know, um, we have to have that, that kind of attitude where uh, perfect for you means being imperfect very often. Um, and for me, you know, my mom asked me when I was seven years old, uh, now, who do you want to become? And I remember I told her, mom, I want to be a CEO. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, ever since I remember I want to be an entrepreneur, you know, my dad is an entrepreneur, my uncle is an entrepreneur. Uh, they both have very successful big businesses. So, uh, I think that drive kind of like, you know, I think I underestimated for a long time like how much that influenced me, but I think it influenced a lot. Uh, although my mom is like, you you think of like a fun entrepreneur, she's like a complete opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> so she's not an entrepreneur, like definitely not naturally. Perhaps I could train her. I, I have been trying for a long time unsuccessfully. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, you know, but that's, Kind of like where a drive came from, I think, you know, based on from, from my dad. He was an inspiration to me, I guess. Oh, cool. So, um, obviously, you said you wanted to be a CEO from, from the age of nine. Uh, seven. Seven, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> seven years old, wow. So, what was your impression of what a CEO would be like then, and how's that changed to what your impression of what a CEO is and does now? Well, I will tell you, it changed a lot. <laughs> uh, you know, I remember there was. Um, I was probably like 10 years old or 11 years old and um, probably, you know, my mom and dad, we had a conversation uh, about like, you know, my dad will leave his business to, you know, to me and um, possibly, you know, uh, uh, to my brother. And I remember I said, well, I don't need him. I can run the whole business myself, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, back then I thought it's just owning a company. And I had no idea what you have to do when you own a company, you know. Uh, like, you know, I have just started my business number six, right? And every single time I started a new business, now all businesses pretty much till now, I had almost no employees. So I did have a few, but not that many. Now we are hiring a lot. And it's like crazy, you know, you talk to an employee, uh, that employee's like, you know, Matt, right now you should, let's say, you know, focus just on Facebook. I then talk to another employee and I will be like, you know what, Matt? You should focus just on Instagram. Facebook is irrelevant. I'm like, uh, okay. And then I talk to the third employee and uh, that employee will be like, Matt, Facebook and Instagram, forget about it. YouTube is the answer. <laughs> so, uh, and this is just an example. I don't mean this literally, but uh, I'm just using a metaphor here. You know, basically, employees tell you to do one thing, another employee will tell you to do the opposite, and, and then the next one will tell you to do uh, something that's completely different from the other two, you know, suggestions. So, you know, when you're running a company, especially when you've got a lot of employees, uh, you get pulled into all these different directions. And your job then is to find where that, you know, golden middle is. There, I, have been, I have been talking to Gia here, you know, earlier today, and I showed one of my new videos that I have just put out, and we got this a uh, green slide in the first five seconds of video. It looks like a movie trailer. You know, you know when you watch a movie trailer, you see that you know, uh, green slide or whatever. Uh, and I told her that I should have done like two years ago. I had that idea for so long, but I never you know prioritized that. And now I'm getting a few assistants. Gia actually used to be my assistant. Now she got a promotion. 
Congratulations. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and, he, and you guys, you cannot see Gia, but Gia is here. Um, I knew you had a few more people in the office today, but uh, everybody left by now. It's like, what, 8 p.m.? Now? Yeah, yeah, it's just about 8 p.m. Yeah, 8 p.m. My watch is a bit fast to kind of keep me on time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you want to be ahead of everybody yeah, exactly, else. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's why I like getting up early in the morning, although today I, I, I got up pretty late. I, I'll, I'll admit. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that uh, vision definitely changed, like, what I thought a CEO was back then. I just wanted to, you know, like, be the boss. Mm. Now I realize there's pretty much no such thing as being the boss because you will, you will always have somebody, uh, you know, above you. Uh, even if you're, you know, you got everybody like under you, still you got government, you know. Uh, Kyle Lopez, you know, he likes to say, government is your business partner, whether you want or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 